Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another cast of game for Crossfire Legion. And today I bring to you a game with Myron playing in the southwest corner of the map as the New Horizon faction in the northeast corner of the map. We've got Sax playing as the Global Risk. Should be an interesting matchup. We do see a work going forward for Myron looking to get some scouting information. We see a barracks going down for Sax playing as the Global Risk, perhaps looking to get some troopers out early on to pile on some pressure. We see Myron actually going to the fuel, so we can expect an expansion probably a little bit later, uh, going for the infantry assembly and uh, maybe sticking uh, to some uh, infantry to start off with, as always. And uh, two troopers on the field so far, three more queued up for Sax, looking to protect his base and his economy. The second expansion is almost on the way for Sax. Sorry, for uh, Myron, looks like he's just swimming around that worker, is looking for something to do, and there is the core base going down now for the New Horizon faction. Now he's going to send this worker forward, I suspect, to find out exactly what is going on. So we see one core base expansion for Myron, and it looks like Sax is going a bit more aggressive with the infantry to start off with, and then we'll be going for a second core base a little bit later, perhaps. But as, yeah, he's going to continue to produce those troopers, uh, looking to cause some damage, and the worker is going forward now for Myron, looking to scout some information to see what is going on, to see if his opponent is going to be aggressive or going for a second core base himself. And on the back of this, looks like uh, Myron is going for an upgrade on the infantry assembly, looking to perhaps get those lichens out on the field for New Horizon. Uh, very interesting unit. We'll see what he decides to do. The worker almost there to his opponent, and the troopers will go forward. They will be meeting that worker on the way. And so Myron will be aware of this happening, but he's got his infantry assembly up and running and upgrading to, court, to uh, tier two. And that will help him uh, defend himself. So now he's aware of what's going on. He's going for the secondary infantry assembly as well, just to support his primary one. Looking to get the army numbers up behind this and the second core base expansion is uh, up and running, but no workers on it just as of yet. Looking to actually maximize production, it seems, at the moment for his infantry. And he actually has an ogre on the field. Very nice unit for New Horizon. Let's take a look at the ogre for New Horizon. So this is a unit which is an advanced ranged infantry that deals damage to an area. Can be upgraded to slow and any enemies that it hits. And I believe that this unit is particularly strong against uh, infantry, and we shall see what it kind of how it does. But we can see on the tooltip that non-tracking projectiles uh, deals an area of effect damage, so it could be hugely strong and powerful. But of course, it means it trades off some accuracy for that. Also, they can have the abilities of chain rounds, where it fires multiple shots into an area. Okay, the troopers for uh, Global Risk for Sax didn't actually do too much damage, well, didn't do any damage at all. Didn't go forward, looked just to uh, protect his own core base and his expansions. Just looking around the map, going through to see what's being taken. And the second core base is down now for Sax. But let's take a look at the worker count. I mean, it's relatively different, actually. Uh, I think it's going to be around about four extra workers for Sax. Uh, probably more than that, because it's going to take some time for his core base to actually start running here. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Materials lead, that is for sure, five on the field extra workers for uh, Myron to play around with the extra materials. So he's got a couple of ogres, going to go forward, three of them, looking to see what he can find, get any damage that he can find. Troopers there, four in a little uh, platoon, circling around on the left side, looking just to see if he's expanded for a third core base. And as you can see, he has not. A couple of ogres, four on the field, more to be coming in, five. Yeah, he's starting to flood those now with uh, double barracks and is continuing to produce workers from both core bases. So this is a very nice strategy to increase the worker count numbers and uh, maybe even looking to get that third core base behind this. I'm sure he's going to have lots of materials now having um, you know plenty there on the second core base. The second core base is now up and running for Sax, but of course he's quite far behind on that. And so it looks like Myron certainly has the uh, economy boost working to his favour. Okay, and I do kind of worry about Sax because he does only have one barracks, he's going for a vehicle assembly and the armory, but it might be a little bit too late because the ogres are working their way around, looking to cause some damage, only a couple of infantry troopers there, probably won't be enough to hold this back and the ogres look to deal some damage relatively soon. It's got the radiation zone now available as an ability for New Horizon, which is the ability for Angel. She has the null field and then also the radiation zone. Ogre's going to circle around to the second core base there on the left, looking to cause some damage, going to take out a worker easily. And this area is going to be pulverized by these ogres. As you can see, doing a lot of damage, the ogres, to the infantry, going to take out the troopers and workers as well. And uh, yeah, this is going to be 
pretty bad for Sax. It looks like that second core base is going to go down relatively soon. Sax is going to need to respond with something in kind. It looks like he's going to go for a couple of uh, more troopers and some sentry turrets there to try and protect his primary core base, but it looks to be in a very big spot of bother. A couple of workers there going towards the left, running away, keeping them alive. But this second core base is going to be under you know, pressure for a long time now. And uh, it's going to be important for Sax to try and keep his units alive for as long as possible in his primary core base, teching up with the factory, going for Cavalier to try and stave the attack off. But we can see that the uh, second core base now is almost saturated for New Horizon, played by Byron, looking to really bolster that economy and uh, build up on the basis of this aggression. The Vampire is joining in the mix for Myron. And uh, Sax is in a very precarious position. He's going for some rocket troopers as well uh, and cavaliers. So he does have a bit of a technology advantage in terms of going for vehicles. Having said that, Myron has dropped his vehicle assembly and a third infantry assembly as well as the R&D lab. So looking to tech up and uh, improve his units. Lots of ogres and two vampires joining the mix looking to now make their way to the primary core base. Uh, which is going to be very painful for Sax unless he can hold this off. Does have a couple of Cavaliers and Rocket Troopers, so he should have enough to stop this, especially with the turrets there behind. And the Ogres are running into their death, and I think Myron is going to throw away a lot of units here. This was uh, pretty wasteful, actually. Very, very wasteful for Myron. But it does mean he, in this kind of expedition, has denied the expansion to the core, second core base, which is actually pretty good for New Horizon this way, because now he's got lots of materials to play with. The economy is so much better for Myron, looking to build up on the back of this. Couple of Cavalier going down for uh, Global Risk, moving forward with Sax, uh, looking to see what damage he can find. And a couple of workers there going down for Sax, looking just to explore, and uh, it's mostly just for scouting now, I suspect. Uh, maybe looking to do uh, the ability for the Cardinal, which is a fire at will, which could be pretty devastating, devastating on this area here. Actually, would it be interesting to see if you got these workers close to here, to give them the range of sight to be able to deploy that. Of course, you need the uh, range of sight um, to be able to deploy that. There. And the third core base is now up and running for Myron, the third expansion, and it looks like now as long as this game goes on like this, uh, I think Sax is going to struggle, especially on the materials side of things. It doesn't really have the production of material, uh, military. Let's just take a look at how much resources is floating. It's probably looking to be floating quite a lot, I suspect, although he's actually floating less than Myron, but then bear in mind, Myron is on three core bases now, having a lot of uh, decent amount of military there in terms of Vipers. Vipers? Sorry. Um, the uh, vampires looking to stave off these workers and cavalier. So the cavalier are getting involved, but I don't think it's going to have enough. Two cavalier versus five vampires. We shall see how this pans out. The cavalier should be able to do a lot of damage, but just numbers wise, will be taken out now. The vampires do a good job, and uh, four of them remain at the end of that fight. Okay, a couple of ogres moving around for Myron just to protect that third core base expansion. And it's just one core base play by Sax. Looking to upgrade his factory and uh, go up to the core base tier 3, which would unlock quite a lot of nice units for him in terms of air units, looking to maybe to get an airfield down. Let's just see if he does drop that down. An anti-air turret, which is a little bit pre uh, preemptive because, of course, um, New Horizon is still on tier 2, I believe, on their core base. Although he is going up as well to tier 3, so yeah, technology advantage is not going to be that high for Sax in terms of how early it's coming in because of course that tier 3 is now coming for New Horizon as well. So you can see the expansion for New Horizon really paying off. It's got to that point of the game where actually, you know, Sax really needed to do a lot more damage a lot earlier. Okay, now we see some Manticores on the field. An interesting unit, let's take a look, let's take a look. Manticore is a light tank with dual energy cannons. It can be upgraded so that its weapons temporarily make targets more vulnerable to damage. They've got a melting point ability. It makes targets more vulnerable to damage for a short duration. Okay, we shall see how this one engages in battle and how, it, how it does. Looking forward to see this one. I haven't seen too much of it, so uh, as the games come in thick and fast in terms of casted games, we shall see more and more of the games and the units that are available. Okay, Vampire just sneaking around on the left, looking to see if there's any expansions here on the left. Very nicely done by New Horizon, played by Myron here in the southwest corner of the map. He's got a couple of sentry turrets as well, just to defend himself at the back of his uh, primary base, uh, as well as on his tertiary core base. The second R&D lab going down just to upgrade his units a little bit fast. He's got plenty of resources that he could be spending, upgrading his vehicle assembly as well. Maybe looking to get some uh, mech-type units. I don't know if he's got the uh, the Titan or if he's got the... Um, no, 
I think it's called the Hyperion. Yeah, that's right. Hyperion or is the alternative. It looks like it's the Hyperion that it has in his loadout in terms of cards. So we shall see if he produces any of those as the map as the match goes on. Yeah, lots of army here for Myron. I think Sax is going to struggle unless he has a lot of units. Has a couple of phalanx, not enough though, that's for sure. A couple of troopers there as well. But constantly trying to produce from these two factories. But I don't know if it's going to be enough. It does have a hangar as well coming up, so it's just not there just yet. Maybe looking to get some uh, air units in the form of javelins. New Horizon Army just camped out here, uh, stopping any expansion. I think Myron knows he's comfortable here because being on three core bases versus one, moving out to his fourth core base, uh, yeah, the materials-wise, he's, he's really strong in terms of his economy. And I think here, Sax is going to struggle very, very hard. Okay, the army is moving forward now. He's going in for the kill. He's pretty confident that he can take this fight. Quite a lot of sentry tires and phalanx in there, but fire will being used by Sax, and that could be devastating. We see a devastating use of the fire will ability, and that is huge. He loses so, so much. I think it's fantastic use of the fire will ability there for Sax, and that was definitely a relatively good cost-effective trade. But of course, the um, materials count for Myron must be pretty big, so Sax does fantastically well to, to push this back, especially with the, the phalanx there and usage of the fire will. Okay, now we see the Hades for Myron come forward. Hades is a very nice unit for the New Horizon faction. Let's take a look. Hades is probably one of my favorite units on, in the game. Uh, now, it is a vehicle that can shoot both air and ground targets, rally ability being used for Sax, but let's focus on the Hades for now. And uh, yeah, the fact that Hades can attack both ground and air units means it's a very flexible unit and it does have non-tracking projectiles which means it deals out very very heavy uh, area of effect damage. But what should be said is of course is non-tracking projectiles meaning that the accuracy is relatively low. Um, uh, but as you can see it looks absolutely fantastic as a unit as well. That's definitely one thing to talk about, the aesthetics, because look at that absolutely beautiful unit. Okay, a couple of tanks moving forward for Sax uh, with some Cavaliers. Going to need to do some damage fast, especially considering how many materials that uh, Myron must have stocked up. As you can see, 22,000 materials, 6,000, almost about to say 3,000 in some ways, but 6,000 6, fuel, which is a heck of a lot. And he's got a, a Hyperion there behind the Hades. We see a big fight here, and the fire will going down for Sax. Looking to cause some damage on the Hades, but they do manage to back off and get out of that. And that was huge for both players, actually, in terms of the outcome of the game, because a fire at will there could have been devastating. But uh, the army here for New Horizon, a lot stronger here. Those Phalanx will go down. Two Hyperions doing great work, using their abilities as well. The Hyperion has a fantastic ability, using saturation bombing, which barrages the target area. The explosive projectiles for massive damage. When they say massive damage, they really do mean massive damage. You should, guys, you should see how it works. It's insane. And we do see a couple of javelins that go for global risk, but uh, it looks like this game is going to be heading towards uh, Myron's W count, his win count, because he does have lots of Hades as well as the uh, two Hyperions moving forward now. Looking to damage the Sentry Towers and doing the damage, as you can see, saturation bombing the technology there, the ability going for the Hyperion, looking to take out the uh, Phalanx of Taurus as well. Now it's also important to note that the Hyperion can attack both ground and units, air units. Does the jump ability to get that mobility in fast, jump into the thick of the action. Looking to take out the barracks, which was producing a rocket trooper, but no longer. Hyperion looking to damage the factories now, and I'm sure the GG will be coming in relatively soon. The fifth core base expansion here on the left. Javelin's going to look to do some damage on that, but probably not enough, not enough firepower there to do damage quick enough. And the second factory will be going down. That will be uh, very devastating for Sax. He's not going to be able to have any other production buildings apart from this hangar which is already under siege and looking to be destroyed by Myron so we should be able to see the GG coming in relatively soon not much that Sax can do about this fortunately it was a game of economy that uh, Myron managed to expand relatively safely and quickly early on and the material counts really is built up and is able to produce very very strong weaponry here radiation go down for Myron and that, that that's going to be devastating for Sax probably the killer blow here I suspect we'll see the GG we see the workers explode that is an insane amount of graphics. Uh, absolutely fantastic to look at. There is the GG, guys. There it is. So it was a fun, fantastic game.
featuring New Horizon and Global Risk. We saw a lot of units there. It was good fun to cast this game. And guys, if you did enjoy this video, do give it a thumbs up. Hopefully, I shall see you on a lot more Crossfire Legion content, including some free-for-all game modes. Let's just see what we can find. Take care, and see you next time.